Schumacher, second place in the British Grand Prix. His third, second of the year, two third places. Taking past Hill Schumacher, congratulating Alain Prost, a man with whom he has no problems. I think surprised to find that Schumacher's second. Obviously very happy about it. And Patrese, of course, a great well, performance okay. in third place. This is JJ Leto. Leto, number six. So the two Hondas are in fifth and sixth places, but race leader halfway around the first lap and a dramatic start. Steeper, and that's a cat, and that's Schwantz out. That's Doohan out. So Kevin Schwantz and Mike Doohan are out. And that looks as though that's young Barros. Young Barros as well on the left, so that could well be the two Suzuki men. Mike Doohan limping with the already injured right leg. That's so incredible. Mick Doohan, it was, was causing the problem, unfortunately. He went in there too quick and he just ran in the back of him. So I'm sure it's from Mick Doohan. You'll see him coming down into the corner here now. And it's Mick Doohan, I think, that's out of control. This is the way I've got it. He's lost the front end at this point, you'll see now. And he goes straight into the back of Barros and then into Kevin Schwann. So Mick Doohan's just wiped out the Suzuki team. That is quite incredible. I'm sure it's, he didn't mean to do that, but he just got in there too hot. Maybe with his carbon brakes, it just didn't stop. Well, let me now say that poor, poor Mick Doohan, because of his injured right leg, does not run a conventional rear brake on that Honda. He has a specially adapted rear brake lever on the left-hand side of the handlebar, which he operates with his thumb. So it could be that poor Mike Doohan was unable to get the Honda, the Honda slowed down just as much as he... Well, people may have thought that the front-wheel drive cars had closed the gap on the BMWs, but they haven't here at Alton Park, and there's the proof. But their rivals won't give up, and the battle continues.